Hello everyone. Welcome to LRDI Prep. My name is Samir Sardana and we are discussing this set of input output. Two videos have already been recorded where I have discussed the shortcut approach, uh, the ranking method to solve the question. But there are various type of set that you need to understand to uh, learn everything related to input output, right? So what is ranking method? How this rank, how this ranking method is used in different type of set, right? This is what we are going to cover in the whole series. So uh, and using the ranking method, you will be able to solve the question in one minute. Okay. Now, uh, in this particular video, I'll be discussing a set where two elements are moving in one step. In the previous uh, videos, we discussed those, we discussed a basic set where one element was moving at a time. But in this set, we'll be discussing those questions of input output where two elements are moving at the same time. So you, I, I hope you have seen the previous two videos so that you know the basic structure of input output right so please watch the previous two videos before you watch this video right so uh, the basic ha set has already been discussed with you i'll be discussing the set number second here in this you can see that uh, again the standard instruction and num word and number arrangement machine is given an input line of words and numbers it arranges them following a particular route and the following is an illustration of input and the arrangement what is the input uh, input is this now you observe it first of all you look at the last step to get to know what is the desired result what actually is machine what, what actually the machine is trying to do you see that the last step will tell us what is the final result towards which the machine is moving the final result is to increase the numbers the final result is to increase the number you can say you can see in the increasing order you see that these are arranged in the increasing order and alphabets are supposed to be moved in the decreasing order are supposed to be arranged in the decreasing order from right to left that means when you move from left to right numbers are increasing order and when you move from right to left the words are in decreasing order right or you can say numbers are increasing order from left to right and the words are also in the increasing order from left to right okay how the movement is happening now observe the step number one step number one you see that uh, if you compare input with the step number one you will see that two elements are moving in how you see that the word 8, 8 was positioned here, but in the step 1, 8 is positioned here. And the word protective, which are positioned at this point, uh, is placed, now has been changed to this point, place, right? So, protective has been taken to the rightmost position and the smallest number 8 has been taken to the leftmost position. Now, uh, some of you might be getting confused that protective and person both are starting from the same alphabet, that is P, then why in one step why in the first step protective has been taken on the right hand side why not person see the first alphabet is same if the first alphabet is same in that case you are supposed to compare the second letter which is r here and which is e here so between r and e r is the largest alphabet so therefore protective has been taken on the right hand side now what is happening in step two you see that the second largest number after eight uh, the second smallest number after eight is 20. now 20 has been already placed at its own position so you are not moving 20 instead of 20 the next largest element is 40 which has been taken over here right so therefore if there is a number or element which has which is already placed at its own position right you don't have to move that you have to move the next element right you don't have to move the same element right you will have to move the next element okay So what is the rule here that if an element is already positioning itself at its own position then the rank would be given to the next element which is supposed to be moved. For example here in this case 20 was filling itself at its own position so the rank number 2 that means in step 2 the element 40 has been moved. Now after the, 40, the, the number 40 has been moved in the step 3 you see that. 90 has been taken to, add to its own position and the smallest alphabet which is uh, starting from L has been taken to its uh, position on the right hand side. Right. 
so this is how the arrangement is happening. So the rules are numbers are supposed to be on the left hand side. Words are supposed to be moved on the right hand side. Numbers are supposed to be in the increasing order. Words from right to left are supposed to be in the decreasing order. Now, and finally, once you get this arrangement, the machine stops working. This is your last step of the above input. Now, let's learn how to do the ranking in the in these type of sets where two elements are moving at the same time. Okay. Here is the input. Here is the input, right? Gone over 36, 60 sets, 78 people, 26. And we are supposed to do the ranking and answer the question. Again, if I keep start writing all the steps, it might take a lot of time. But with the ranking method, you'll get your answer very quickly, right? So the approach of doing the ranking when two elements are moving at the same time is with the element which is moving on the left hand side should be given a rank of 1L, right? Let's say if an element is moving in the first step on the left hand side, that element will be given a rank of 1L. And the elements which will be moving on the right hand side will be given the rank of 1R. So therefore, a one particular rank will be given to two elements because in step one, in one step, two elements are moving. So tell me, which element will be taken on the left hand side in the first step? You see, 26 will be taken on the left hand side. So I'll give 1L to 26. And which word will be moving on the right hand side? The largest alphabet is set. Uh, you see that S. So therefore, 1R will be given. Second largest element is 36. So therefore, this 2L rank will be given to 36 and second largest uh, uh, alphabet is, you see, is O, right? Uh, o, M, G, right, uh, it, it, it is P, right? It's not O, it's P. But you see that here in the second element, the second 2R rank should be given to P, uh, the word people, right? the word which is starting with P. But you see that all the elements, now uh, the word people has to be moved on the right hand side of the position, right on the right hand side of the arrangement. But you see this element, which is supposed to be moved on the right hand side, all the element on the right hand side of this element are already ranked, right? So this word will automatically fill itself at its own position. So will I give the rank 2R to people? No, the, there will be an automatic filling of people. So therefore you will give it as 1RA. That is after the 1R, it is getting automatically filled. So where the rank 2R will go? So 2R will be given to the next word of people, right? So after people, the third largest element is over. So therefore 2R rank will be given to this element. Okay. And then you see the next largest number is 60. So 3L will be given to 60, right? 3L will be given to 60 and 3R. Now 3R will be given to the word gone, right? So this will be given to the word 3R will be given to gone, right? Now, will I give 78 a new rank? The 78 is supposed to move on the left hand side. All the element on the left of 78 are already ranked. That means they are already at its own position. That means 78 will be a part of auto filling. That means you don't have to move 78 after the third R, after the third step, 78 automatically will be filled at its own position. Why? Because 78 was supposed to be moved on the left hand side and all the elements on the left hand side are already ranked. So no new rank will be given to it. In fact, it will be automatically filled at 3RA. That's it. So answer to the question is how many steps will be required to complete the arrangement of the given input? The answer to the question is three. This is the correct answer of the question. You don't have to write down every step of this, right? You can straight away solve the question very quickly using the ranking method. Okay. Let me give you the answer to the next question. What will be the second step of the given input? Now, we have already done the ranking, right? If I have to write down the second step, now in two step, I know that if I have to write down the second step, let's go to this. Now tell me guys, in two steps, which element will be ranked? You see that one L will be coming on the left hand side position. Then you will have, uh, do we have one L automatic? No, then yeah, <clears throat> two L here. 
and in the second step one hour will be here one hour automatic filling will be here and two hour will be here so if i want to write down that second step of the arrangement all you have to do is just fill the elements of these rank and you will get your arrangement because in the second step one l and two l two elements will be moved on the left hand side and two element or any automatic filled filled rank will be moved on the right hand side so just tell me one l is 26 two l is 36 that's it one r is uh, set right so s will be here one r automatic filling is p and then you have two r which is o and remaining elements are not supposed to be moved so write them as it is right after writing down 26 36 and then you see uh, the remaining elements are not supposed to be arranged so write down g right and 36 36 has already moved 60 right and 78 that's it sorry i'm supposed to write down here so that's it this will be the second step of the arrangement right so just ranking the elements will straight away give you the step also let me show you one more question on this question number three of the set how many elements will exist between over and 36 in third step now once you do the ranking right how many elements will exist between over and 36 in the third step over and 36 all you have to do is just find out the rank of over over is at 2r and 36 is at 2l now you tell me guys in the third step you have 1L here, right? In the third step, you have 1L here, 2L here, 3L here, right? 1R here, 2R here, 3R here, right? And if there's an automatic filling, that will be 1RA here, automatic filled. And uh, after that, there will be 3L automatic filling. Now, what I'm supposed to tell is, in the third step, how many elements are there between over, between over, and 36 now over and 36 you see over and 36 are ranked as uh, 2r and 3r now tell me between 2r and 3r how many elements are there in fact i did not need to write down all the uh, everything right i just need to see the rank of over is 2r and the rank of 36 is 2l sorry the rank of 36 is 2l so tell me between 2l and 2r how many elements are there one two three between 2R and 2L, there are three elements, right? This will be the answer of the question. There will be three elements between over and 36. So the answer to the question number three is three elements, right? How many elements are there? Three elements. See, the input is different. I just need to do the ranking and answer it, right? Uh, here, I'm just keeping the same input to make you understand the question, right? Uh, in the practice sessions, we'll be discussing the question where the input is getting changed at every instance, right? That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. So this second part of the input output has already been completed, uh, has been completed also where two elements are moving at the same time, one on the left and one on the right. Now, the, in the third part, we'll be doing again a type of set where two elements are moving at a time, but there is a change in the way the elements are placed on the left and right, right? Here, this was the inside filling. The next part is uh, elements are moving on the left and right, but the filling is done from the outside, right? So what is that part? This, this will, that will be explained in the next video, video number four of input output. And please subscribe to the channel, uh, please subscribe to Unacademy Plus using my referral code LRDI Samir. This will help you in getting a 10% off on Unacademy Plus subscription, and you will be able to run all of my live sessions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel and share it with all of your friends. Thank you.